righty. We are going to go look at another truck. Uh, I think it's a 2000 and... What is it? 2005, I think it is. Um, T600. Kenworth. T600. It's got a... Uh, 6NZ kitty cat in it. Uh, rebuilt transmission. He said it's basically new. They've only put like 30,000 miles on the uh, engine. And when they got, when it, this isn't the original engine that was put in it. Uh, that year had the Acer uh, dual turbo. Maybe it was a 2005. I think it was a 2005. I don't know. I have to look at it. But uh, they took that out and they put the 6NZ in it and they got it from an acquaintance, whatever that means. I, again, I'll find all this stuff out once I get down there. It looks pretty damn clean. And they said they've had no issues with it, of course. Um, it's not like... Oh, let's see, we gotta go this way. I gotta go to the bank, drop off a check that won't freaking mobile deposit for some reason. But uh, the last truck I looked at, so I've looked at two different trucks, three different trucks maybe, I don't, I don't remember. Um, so the cab over, which wasn't running at all, and I'm like, dude, I need a truck that actually runs so I can get on the road here without much... Um, without much maintenance or you know issues you know i don't want to put much into it to get it running like i need to jump in it and go and make some money because the truck has been down now for a month i did stop by yesterday asked him hey where's the one box uh it should be on the truck because you guys told me it would be delivered today which is the 29th of december and they said ah, we don't know so that gives me great faith in getting this fucking thing fixed so I've been looking at trucks, older non-emission trucks, and when the time comes down to it, I'll decide what I want to do with the Coronado. Either sell it, uh, depending on if I find a truck that's that's running good. Um, so, anyways, I looked at one, had the six NZ. I was all excited. It was a 387P, which is basically a. Um, uh, a T2000, right? Um, but it's Peterbilt instead of the Kenworth T2000. Um, and the guy was like, yeah, yeah, man, you know, it, it runs great. And he didn't have it up here. He had it up in Salt Lake. And he's like, I'll bring it down for you. I was like, okay, he's going to sell it to me for 25 grand. And I was like, sweet, man. I said, everything's good. Yeah, everything's great. So he drops it off or he brings it down here to cedar i go and look at it i start doing my investigating it's got oil all over the uh the head um the valve cover is saturated on the passenger side and the block was saturated so i'm like what the hell he's like oh i'll get that fixed man don't no no worries i'm like all right well maybe it's just a gasket uh, you know a valve cover gasket so i was like okay well good I pull the uh, expansion tank, I, I take off the, the lid, or the, the cap, which was, you could tell that it wasn't on there very good, it needed to be replaced, but it's just caked with sludge, and I'm like, uh, you got a head gasket leak, no, 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 that's, uh, that's from the oil cooler, I'm like, I don't think so, man. Yeah, yeah, that's been like that since we bought it three years ago. So he's been driving this truck, and there was no coolant in it. So I'm guessing the whole fucking radiator is filled with oil. Uh, so I do a um, just a crude test to see if it's leaking, right? I, I take off the return line, or it's the, uh, not the return line, but it's the... Uh, it's the line that goes into the top of the radiator. I don't know what you would call that. Um, an expansion line? I, I don't know. Uh, so I pull that, I stick it in a bottle of water, and it's bubbling. I'm like, dude, 
you have a blown head gasket and you can smell the, the you know exhaust once you take it out and you sniff the bottle um, so I'm like yeah so then I was looking like okay well maybe if I could get the truck for 10 grand how much is it gonna cost to rebuild it so it's about 20 to 20 22 thousand dollars so I'm like well I, I don't want to spend 30, 35 grand on this truck. It wasn't in the greatest of shape. Uh, he used it to, to haul mobile homes. So it had like the mobile home mirrors and it, it just was not the greatest. So I'm like, it ain't worth to pull the engine out and rebuild it. And you know, so I told him thanks, but no thanks. So I still been looking now again, I'm, this is now I'm going to go down it's about 150 miles um, from here. So I'm gonna go check it out. They're asking 37, I think, for it. Um, I, I don't really wanna pay 37, but I'm gonna look at it, tell them my, my sad, sad story, uh, and see if maybe I can get it for 30. Because I, that's about what I wanna spend on a truck. 30,000 and it, again it looks like it's in halfway decent shape um, and, it, and he said he's only put like 30,000 miles on it in two years so what have they been doing with it for two years I have no idea like has it just been going from one yard to the next he pulls a flatbed with it uh, so I'm gonna find that out and then we'll see how good the engine is again the pictures the engine looks like super clean. Uh, he said the front end's been done, uh, all brakes. It's got really nice tires. Um, like they, it looks like they've hardly been used. So we will see. This will be attempt number three, I guess. Uh, I'm just my thing is is when I went in and talked to Freightliner yesterday. The confidence level just went from 25% to about 2% on getting that one box. Um, so I'm going to call them when I leave and see if it got there today because they told me it was going to get there today. That'll kind of make the decision because it's not going to take that long to put in a one box. Um, so if they can have it done by the first of the year, that's the plan. Uh, but again, if they're just like, nope, it ain't here yet, I'm just, I'm, I'm probably going to take it off the insurance. Um, probably, maybe keep it registered. I don't know yet, and uh, register that other truck and keep it off of the insurance until I actually get it. Uh, until it actually gets fixed and put the uh, and if I get this other truck put the other truck on the insurance and bring the and, and like I said until the Coordinado gets fixed and hopefully I can make a couple grand and I'll be able because with the insurance uh, to add a truck is going to be doubled so I'm looking at $16,000 a year it makes no sense for me to Put a truck that's sitting um, on insurance with no driver, no nothing. So if it does get fixed, I'll uh, I can get insurance on it just to get it home, and I think that's like 25 or 50 bucks. Uh, you just put moving insurance on it or whatever, and then just park it, or I'll see if. Uh, if my guy wants it, again, this all depends on if I get this other truck and if it runs good enough to where I can just sit there and say, I'm, I'm getting rid of the, the, the stupid Coronado um, and not dealing with this emissions bullshit again. Because again, I have a feeling that once the emissions does get done on it, like, how do I know it's not going to keep giving me emission issues? You know, I, I'm just sick and tired of dealing with emissions and it's just non-stop you know there was the emissions on the mac that was constant there is emissions on the uh well the transmission on the western star went out 
uh, and it also had emission problems, right? It had the seventh injector went out, left my guy stranded for a little bit. Uh, and then the red truck, same issues. Um, it had emissions, you know, bullshit going on with it. And now this one, so. All right, well, we're gonna go to the bank and uh, get this done and I'll try to get some video of the truck and see if see if I can't see if I can't get any video but anyways we will see ya. Oh we got lights. It's missing a it's missing a uh, whatchamacallit fog light that's alright. It's got a PTO he said uh, this probably needs to be looked at but yeah that's definitely leaking but that's something that we could, could probably fix this looks custom it sounds really good so pretty much did a bunch of work to it and they have an on-site mechanic so I'm gonna take it for a test drive. So how many of you have been in one of these things? Look at this view, huh? Wait till you see this. I right, gotta hope those aren't snow plow. Uh -uh. Let's see. So this is. Colorado City, Arizona. I, I don't know what or who lives here, but look at that. Look at those mountains, man. Those are just absolutely insane. But, just drove the truck. Looks like I bought me a pre-emissions truck. Uh, hang on, let me see here. It is a, here's the purchase agreement. Hang on purchase agreement right here um, a 2005 Kenward T is it 600 I think it's a 600 600 or 800 one of the two yeah, hang on I don't even know what the hell I'm driving <coughs> T 600 they had it listed for I think he's I think he had it listed for 37 5 or 37 9 um, he basically came down to 35,000. The engine has, like I said, I think he said it's got a little less, around 150,000 on a rebuild. Um, freaking thing is tight. Uh, it's got a new tranny in it or a rebuild tranny, uh, 10 speed, which kind of sucks. It is gutless, but who the heck cares, right? Um, so we're gonna see if we can get it tuned up and get it uh, up to at least maybe 500 horse, um, maybe 450, 485, we'll see what happens. Um, if not, who cares, right? It's, it's a freaking, it's a non-emissions truck. Run strong, that engine is just, I mean, no blow by whatsoever. And uh, it seems like a really, really good truck. Brand new tires all the way around. Uh, Michelin, well, it's uh, it's not Chinese, but they're Tokyo or something like that. Um, but they're virgin rubber. And then the, the steers are Michelin X-Line. And those are brand new. He just bought them, I think he said a month ago. Um, the driver put them on. So... And again, it, I went through it. it, it looks like it's in really, really good shape. And the good thing about it is, is uh, they have a mechanic on site that has repaired anything and everything that that, that truck is uh, needed. The reason they're getting rid of it, because it was the ugly duckling. Um, and it's gutless. And they haul 80,000 pound uh, side dumps, uh, dumps, and hay and just heavy ass loads, right? So, uh, 
I mean, it is what it is. They 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 actually bought a T eight hundred, a Kenworth, beautiful truck. Uh, it's got the Cummins uh, five hundred horse. They bumped it up to five fifty, and he said basically that's that's the good thing. I forget what he said the rear ends on it were, but they're highway rear ends. They take these little side roads that I'm on right now, and they pull some big ass hills. Um, that are on these side roads, right? They don't really stay on the interstate very much. He said they went up to Delta, um, down to, I forget where he said he went, he went down to. But uh, anyways, it's about 150, 200 miles, um, like two or three times a month, right? So he says, he said there was about a thousand miles put on that truck in a month because he's got different equipment. This equipment was just like the running equipment to go pick up hay. Um, oh, and gypsum down in uh, down in Nevada. Um, so he says that's basically that's basically all that we used uh, that we use this truck for. So not many miles on the engine. He says never had any issues with the engine, and again. Whenever there was anything wrong with it, because the truck did sit for, you know, it wasn't used very often, um, the driver would come in, he says he's had the same driver for uh, five and a half years, and he's like, he's very meticulous, and uh, let's see, the truck's got like new airbags on, it's got brakes, um, basically it's ready to go tomorrow. So, I put a hold on it, and, uh, gonna transfer some funds around and uh, hopefully I got two weeks to come up with the 25 grand I put ten thousand dollars down uh, like I said as far as the engine goes that engine is the what was in that truck was a uh, a cert they got rid of that because it was a hunk of crap and like I said they put the six six in Z in it uh, single turbo uh, like I said, strong freaking, and it's the earlier 6NZ. So, strong, strong freaking engine. It's just gutless, but we'll figure something out on that if we can't, uh, if we can't, uh, you know, get it tuned up. I'm gonna go to the shop and see. Um, it is small, it is smaller, but it's about the same as that uh, 389P I was in. So, I mean, again, I don't go anywhere, and people drove those trucks for years with that, you know, it's, it is a double bunk sleeper, it's just, it's just small, right? So, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Uh, 2005 Kenworth T600 with a 6NZ Kitty Cat. Let me know. Later.